Hello, this is Chuck James from 3C Production Studios in Bowie, Maryland. I'm going to do a, a little tutorial today on Sonar X1 Producer Expanded. Uh, do a little editing to show you how to use the smart tool and some of the other tools that are included in Sonar. I uh, got a vocal track uh, from a remake of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So uh, let's listen to a little bit of it and then get started with the tutorial. <laughs> All right, you can see it's a rock and roll interpretation. Mixed it for a contest they had online. So uh, let's get started with the tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in really close so you can see where the um, background vocal is in relation to the rest of the tracks. I'll come back down and we'll just put the vocals in the screen. All righty. Well, you can see that there's a big gap of dead space before the verse, first background vocal comes in and one at the end. So what you do is you take the smart tool and the smart tool is a combination of different tools all rolled into one. And the way that they change to different tools is by their position. Uh, if you put it in the center on the um, line where the, the um, waveform is, you can see it turns into a cursor tool. If you put it at the bottom, it'll be a move tool. If you put it at the end, it'll turn blue. It'll turn into a fade tool. Same at the top. You can see that you can use it to crop. In the center, it turns into a crop tool. So you can do a lot of different things with it. What I like to do is to kill the dead space at the beginning and the end of the vocal so you won't have any uh, residual noise. So you just take the smart tool. You'll get that little plus sign and select all three tracks. Now we'll go up here. You can see that you have different tools up here in the toolbar. You have a select tool, move tool, split tool, the draw tool, and the erase tool. All of them have a corresponding shortcut. F10 on your keyboard is the shortcut. Then you'll notice at the um, bottom that they have a little arrow in some of the tools. If you press that arrow, you'll see the other tool options that you get for that particular location. You got your trim tool and your timing tool. Uh, up here, you have different drawing tools, a sine wave and a line tool, triangle tool and square. And then over here, if you press the last one, you'll see that it's also the mute tool and the erase tool. So now we've selected. I'm going to go up here and... Uh, Take the split tool. You could either press F8 on your keyboard or you could just come up here and hit it. And now make sure that you're not going to cut off any of the audio and go ahead and split all three at the same time. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing at the beginning. Make sure I don't cut any of the vocal off. Hit the split tool. You'll notice that the beginning portion is all still selected. I'm just going to come to my keyboard and hit delete. Or else you could go up to edit and come down to delete it would do the same thing. I'm going to go back to the smart tool. I'm going to press F8 on the keyboard. And then do the same thing. Select those clips at the end. Go ahead and hit delete. Now we've gotten rid of that dead space in the beginning and the end. I'm going to solo the uh, tracks here. You can just pull them out until you can see the mute and solo. Let's go ahead and solo those background vocals. And then I'm going to put the cursor near the beginning of the first background. And then I'm going to zoom in really close. You can see you have your zoom, your uh, zoom in and zoom out. We'll come in again. We'll put the cursor near the beginning and zoom in really tight so that you can get a good view of where the um, background vocals begin. So this one looks like it's the first one to start. So yeah, I'll bring the smart tool up here on the line, the beginning of the wave, and then I'm going to zoom in even closer. Now you can see that it's a little too close. You can see that this third wave, it starts a little far back. I'm going to come in a little bit so you can get a good definition on the front. Going to move the line here. 
it looks like these two start exact same place you can see that the last one starts back a little bit further so you can go ahead and grab it with the move tool and then move it to the cursor line so that it lines up right on the line with your other two tracks so now we can see that they both start at the same place so i'm gonna zoom back out and we're gonna play the first one and let you see how it sounds now that they've all been moved to the beginning and uh, start at the same place. Okay, that sounded pretty good. Now what I wanna, wanna do is Go to the end and make sure they all end at the same place. It's not really a prerequisite because it's a background vocal. It will be in the background. But um, you can make it sound a little bit more professional if you have them start and end at the same spot. You can see down here the middle track is a little bit longer and uh, goes a little bit longer than the other tracks. So again, I'm going to use the smart tool to select all of them. And then I'm going to crop them all at where this one ends because I know that that's a nice natural place for it to end. I'll go up here and get my split tool again and go ahead and cut it off. Now, since they're all selected, you can go back to your smart tool. They all, they all ended the same place, but you can see this one fades nice and neat to the end. This one is still a little loud since we cut some of it off. And this one varies a little too. So what we're going to do is add a fade so that they all end at the same point. So if you put this smart tool up in the um, upper right corner and you pull it back, it'll actually do a, a, a fade. So I'll move it over here so you can see what we did. And then the other nice thing that I like is that with the sonar, you don't have to fade all of them uh, with just a, a direct proportion fade. You put the fade tool here and right click it'll give you options. I like to use the fast fade for vocals because it gives it a very natural sound. Now we'll come back and listen to it again with the um, fades in place. Okay, got some artifacts in there at the end. So let's go back here and see what happened. Oh, I didn't cut it out. Okay, so we'll go back to the smart tool. We'll grab those again and go ahead and split all of the tracks again and delete that part in the middle so we don't pick up that part we cut off after the fade. So let's take a listen. Okay, that sounded pretty good. So let's go in here and uh, zoom back out gonna take another listen to it so that you can see what we did and this time we're gonna play all the music to hear it in context of the music Okay, that first part we did sounds good. Let's go back and do the same thing to the second uh, phrase. We're going to zoom in close. You can see that the center starts a little further back. The uh, second one starts a little further back. We're going to get the smart tool. We're going to put it exactly at the beginning of the first one. You can see that the other two are a little back. So we're going to come up here, use the move tool, and drag it to the same line as the start the other one that we uh, like to start point and grab this one pull it up so now they're all started the same place let's go back to the end of it see where they end now this time it looks like they did a better job of controlling the end points for all of the the backgrounds so since they ended pretty much at the same place and we'll leave those the way that they sit now we'll listen to the whole thing again First, we'll solo it. Okay. 
And there you have it. There's some quick edits. Uh, we could go in with the um, V vocal and also do a little edits to get the pitch right. Let's go in here and select, turn it into the crop tool. Go ahead and pull all of these up to a little bit closer to eliminate some more of that dead space. Go ahead and put a fade at the beginning. So it all fades in. And this is the end of this tutorial. Again, this is Chuck James from 3C Production Studios in Bowie, Maryland. I hope you like this in tutorial. And uh, be on the lookout for new tutorials coming from me soon. Thanks.